Why should we subsidise heat pumps when only the wealthiest in society can afford them? Shouldn't that money be used to help those that need it the most? Seriously, why are we spending money on those that can afford to pay for it themselves? Government subsidies are crucial tools to accelerate industry shifts, unlock innovation and deliver long-term public benefits, even if in the early days the access to the technologies are limited to a few people. First of all, let me define what a subsidy is. A subsidy is financial support provided by the government to lower the cost of something that is deemed to be in the public interest. Now remember, just because you don't agree with it doesn't mean it's not in the public interest. And remember, subsidies aren't unique to heat pumps. They exist across all sectors of government business. For example, let's look at how the government subsidises energy companies to build nuclear power stations. Take Hinkley Point C. The government has committed tens of billions of pounds in guarantees, price support, uh, agreements and other financial mechanisms to ensure the project goes ahead. But because we've lost the skill set here in the UK, it means we have to bring in foreign companies to build these nuclear power stations for us. So rather than building up our own industries, training our own people, in the early days of the project, we're having to bring in people to do skills transfers to try and get our people up to the skill level required to be able to build these power stations, which costs even more. And the private companies that come in to do this are not going to foot that bill. That bill is going to be carried by the UK taxpayer. Because of this, the public are going to be forced to pay higher prices for energy for decades to come. The government has used its subsidies to guarantee these private companies that the energy that is generated from these power stations will be priced at a premium, and you and I will be the ones that pay for them. But these subsidies aim to secure long-term energy supply and national energy security. That's why this is in the national interest, and this is why the government is doing it. Even though the vast majority of people in this country will never directly own or profit from a nuclear power station. Now let's talk about another form of subsidy, and one you might not think about. How businesses that pay their employees minimum wage are effectively being subsidised by the government, just not directly in this case. Employees paid minimum wages often need to claim tax credits, housing benefits and other subsidies just to meet the basic living standards. This allows businesses to pay less while the taxpayers pick up the difference. Now, do you really think that companies like Starbucks can't afford to pay their employees more? And if they did, it means that those people would be able to live the same standard of living they do, but they wouldn't then be a drain on the government purse. The government wouldn't be subsidising Starbucks so that Starbucks can take that money instead of paying their employees and paying it off to their shareholders. There are hundreds of examples of this. But many people don't realise that, that we're already subsidising private companies through the welfare system. So let's bring this back to heat pumps. Why is the government subsidising heat pumps? Now, the government has uh, publicly stated aims and, in fact, uh, have written into law that they want to decarbonise our, our electricity system, uh, specifically our heating. They want to reduce our reliance on gas and transition to electric power. Um, achieving a net zero carbon emission by 2050. Now, this will improve our national energy security by reducing our dependence on imported fossil fuels, specifically gas, and also meeting our international climate commitments under the Paris Accord. Now, the government also aims to improve energy efficiency in our homes and reduce household heating bills. Now, we haven't seen much evidence of this um, over the last few years, but the long-term trend of shifting towards more efficient technologies should help bring down our energy bills. Now, in the UK, heat pumps are a new and expensive technology for most households. But when we look at what other nations have achieved, specifically Norway and Sweden, where we've seen a complete successful transition to electric heating, we need to build up 
the infrastructure in our country to be able to support this new industry. Without subsidies, people wouldn't be able to afford to buy the heat pumps. Without that, we wouldn't have the industries to build the heat pumps. We wouldn't have the factories and the supply chains and all of the things that need to be in place before we start training uh, vast numbers of engineers who maybe work in the gas fitting industry uh, previously to become heat pump installers and maintainers. All of this is dependent on getting the industry off the ground and that's where the subsidies come in. If we don't do any of this, in 20 years time, we're still gonna be reliant on imported gas from Mad Vlad over in Russia. Subsidies help industries increase demand, which leads to more manufacturing, more installers trained, and ultimately lower prices in the long term, making the technology available to more people. Subsidies today mean cheaper, more accessible heat pumps for everyone tomorrow. Now we've already seen this with solar panels and electric cars. In the early days, they were very, very expensive. And as the subsidies came in, more and more people bought into this. This helped expand the industry. More and more companies got involved. And we saw the costs start to drop dramatically. When I look back to when I installed my first solar system in 2010, I paid £15,000 for a two kilowatt system. Today, £15,000 would probably buy you a seven to eight kilowatt system, plus maybe a 10 kilowatt battery. So those subsidies in the early days helped drive the industry and now the technology is available to more and more people. Now remember, subsidies aren't just handouts to the rich. I know it might seem that, certainly if you're in a position where you can't afford to, to install a heat pump and you don't think that uh, it's fair that people like me who can afford to install one are getting handouts from the government. They're strategic investments to help society shift towards better, cleaner, and fairer solutions. And I understand the frustrations from people that say, well, it's just the rich. The rich are always finding a way to, uh, to cream money off the top. I don't see myself as rich. I work a job like everybody else. Um, I've made some good choices throughout my life. But ultimately, when somebody says, we would like to give you some money towards doing something that we think is in the national interest. I will take a long, hard look at that and make a decision of whether it's right for my family. So that's why I support smart subsidies that, that drive positive change for everybody. I hope this has been useful or interesting. Um, if you agree with me, I'd love to hear why in the comments. If you don't agree with me, if you think that this is all some sort of government conspiracy, Again, I'd love to hear from you, but please, 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 let's keep the conversation civil. With that, I'm gonna sign off. It just remains for me to say thank you very much for clicking on this video, and I hopefully will see you back here real soon for another one. Take care, bye-bye.